On the 14th of January 2021, a development application was lodged with the Tweed Shire Council on behalf of NCV Enterprises. The development application 21-0010 or 10 of 21 is for nightcap on Minjumbul and the village development. There is two parts to this development application. It will become clearer as the rest of the application is actually explored in future videos. At this stage, public comment opened yesterday on the 15th of February 2021. And now is the time to have your say. If you want to put forward your concerns, it is now time to put forward those concerns because time marches on and you may w miss your window. What you're looking at here is all of the development applications that have been historically associated with some of the lots that are included in this development application. Several of these are not actually accessible and they actually relate to the uh, permission, the approval given for the Misty Mountains. They would actually be very interesting to look at, to see, well, just as historical data. There are actually links. If you click on them, there's nothing available, but it does say contact them about it and it will give you a link to an email. So I dare say that you could put in an inquiry about that. But to look at the one that was lodged on the 14th of January 2021 is for stage one, which is construction of the roads, pretty much. And the stage concept development, uh, pretty much of the concept of what they're going to put on stage one once they actually yeah, have completed it. Anyway, so in going to that DA 21-0010, you will click on these documents. And there is uh, 53, I think, from memory. And much of the information that's actually given in these PDF documents, I've already uploaded them or downloaded all of them and turned them into a zip file so people can easily download them in one click. I will leave you a link for that. If you want to, I will leave you a link for uh, this part so that you can access that yourself and the link for, well, have your say that if you want to submit something to council, you can. So as you click through the tabs of this stage one development that is worth 37 million, one of these documents, this one over here, Civil Work Construction Cost Estimate, actually tells you what the estimate is, that the 37, there's a $37 million cost to what they intend to do or cover and there's a 15% contingency which bumps it up to 44 million. I said last time it was GST but it was actually the 15% contingency that bumps it up to 44 and then GST is applicable where applicable on that. So as you click through the different tabs you will find that and I have taken a lot of this information already and transferred it, overlaid it onto Google Earth to actually create a visualization of what they are representing goes in. And uh, I find these a lot easier. The location includes 2956, 2924, 2984 and 322 Kyogle Road in Kunga and Mount Burrell. These are all the properties associated with NICAP on Minjimbal and the village development. The next tab along is the people, which is the applicant NCV Enterprises Proprietary Limited. I have finished conducting searches on everyone that I want to now 
and that information too will also be incorporated with what is brought forward in the this application. And the history on the 9th of February there was notification to adjoining owners and an ad generated of course to advertise the public um, comment window. So we get along on the very next tab to related there's not much and related. Uh, there actually should be. There should actually be the DA 06-1054 because it is very much related because a very large part of Appendix G is actually um, that actual development application. Now here is have your say. Now this is what it looks like. On most times I've actually looked at development applications. I do not see this. So this is a very rare thing to actually have all of this come up so that you can actually have your say. And it's a window of opportunity to have your say. Now read very carefully what it does say on there too because it is asking for public comment. Your comments may go public and I think that what's in the documents that the council have uploaded would be probably fair warning to people that anything that you say to them they may at some stage upload for public opinion and scrutiny uh, just so that it can be analyzed what did people say about something and they might give every single submission that's been made so be uh, just be aware of their warning of um, not to say things that you cannot back up you can actually voice your concerns about many things without actually making any defamatory comments to anybody uh, like I can certainly bring up a lot of concerns about what they are planning and I intend to inform people uh, more of the documents of what's in there. I've turned into slideshows and I've uploaded to a branded channel. They are just a visual slideshow of the pages. I've taken the pages, turned them into images and then just put them on a five second right boom boom boom. They are not very <laughs> you know uh, visually impactful but if you wanted to actually have something that you can display on a big screen and just click the pause button and then click play again when you're ready for the next page that will suit you because they're only on a five second thing I have not done any any uh, audio or description I have saved that for here but I will also leave a link for that designated channel and I've actually <laughs> named it DA21-00010 Nightcap on Min Jimbo. So it's actually, when I say it's a branded channel, it's very branded in that I have already uploaded videos of just slideshows. They're all Creative Commons, so people can take what they want. There's a fair few um, that I put together in Appendix G that are actually related to the old development that Peter Van Lyshout put in. They are fairly long ones and they will stand out on the page because they're the ones that are around 30 and 40 minutes long. Yes, and that's at five seconds a page. <laughs> so just know that it is on a five second boom, boom, boom. This is not designed for someone to actually take you through. It is designed for you if you want to to actually put up a larger visual and just click play and pause at your discretion. And because if things are on something that is on a time delay like that, it doesn't give you time to read it and people will actually try and talk when all you're doing is pushing the pause button all the time. So I thought it's kind of pointless to actually talk in videos like that. But if someone does actually want to take those videos and use them as I, are, uh, I am now or will be doing in the future to 
record as it plays and you put on your own vocals to it you're quite welcome to it that's why they're all uploaded as creative commons so that there's no drama about reusing the video the basic video i mean all it is they are slideshows so that's it i've had my say well in this scenario it's time for you to have your say and get in there and follow the links and on that note i will say <laughs> catch you next time bye